What is up guys, Mr. The Revert here, welcome back to the channel. So last night over on Twitter, The Gaming Revolution posted that the supposed Call of Duty 2020 codename The Red Door can now be found on the Xbox Live Store, which is very, very odd. And we're gonna be talking about this and what I think it could possibly mean and more. Now, if you guys remember a few months ago, this mysterious Activision published game was listed over on a website for the PlayStation that covers recent patches for video games, and the Red Door was one of them, but the Red Door isn't a video game that can be found anywhere on the PlayStation Store. Neither could anybody download the game without special access, and this was more than likely because the QA testers, developers, etc. are all working remotely due to COVID-19 and people can't really visit the studio right now. But over on the Xbox Live Store, the game's description reads, There is more than one truth. If you're looking for answers, be ready to question everything and accept that nothing will ever be the same again. The red door awaits. Do you dare to step through it? And the Red Door also is listed as a 81 gigabyte file size, which is pretty dang huge. And this is supposed to be an alpha, an internal alpha version of Call of Duty 2020. So um, why it's so big is kind of odd if you ask me. Um, but honestly, guys, I think Modern Warfare is a huge indicator with all those big updates. That's indicated to tell you the future of Call of Duty. I think every Call of Duty game from here on out and updates are going to be insanely large. And again, this is an alpha version of Call of Duty 2020. It may even be in the beta stages right now. I I'm not entirely sure. Um, but to be that big of a size, that's like the size of a video game and it's not even the whole entire game yet. That's the point I'm trying to make. So again, I think this is going to be the future for Call of Duty updates and new content as we transition to games on the next gen consoles. Something also that's interesting, if you guys didn't know, if you type in the red door on YouTube, one of the search results links you to Painted Black, which is a theme song that Treyarch used to reveal Black Ops 3 back in the day. So it's not really 100% that this is a Call of Duty related thing, but it more than likely is. And now moving on to what this could mean, honestly, I think we're gearing up towards a reveal for the game now that the Red Door is actually listed on the Xbox Live Store and requires a code to download. So I think maybe sometime in the fall season possibly is when we're gonna be able to play an alpha version of the game, maybe even a beta, who knows. Um, but definitely guys, I think we are just maybe a couple weeks away towards a reveal for Call of Duty 2020. And then lastly guys, Yesterday, a Treyarch level designer named Aaron Stump uploaded images onto Twitter of maps that he's worked on for Treyarch. Now, just a quick disclaimer, none of these maps I'm going to show you guys right now are official Call of Duty 2020 maps. A lot of people are under the impression that they are, and oh, he's talking about his own game, he's leaked it on Twitter. No, he didn't. These are just concepts and personal designs that are on his portfolio. He does upload a classified image though, which obviously could be some kind of a hint towards a multiplayer map for Call of Duty 2020 that he's working on but obviously he's not going to reveal that because the game itself isn't even revealed just yet so again none of these maps are official call of duty 2020 maps and it could just give us something like a little hint towards what we could see though for call of duty 2020 which i think is pretty cool um, so yeah, can't really get much out of these images, but he is going to be one of the level designers for multiplayer for Call of Duty 2020. And uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts guys on the red door. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. You guys think we're gearing up towards a reveal for Call of Duty 2020? What do you think it means now that the game is listed on the Xbox Live store? Again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you later.